Hey, USA! Welcome to Flag Stewards. Be a stud citizen. Half staff alerts and reminders from our flag for Wednesday, May 26th of 2021, where we relay daily civics information and U.S. history memories. And we start off with an important civic moment, which is to know what our flag, what fl- what position our flag is at each day at your school, home, or business. You want to make sure you have your flag at the right position. And we are at half staff in uh, five states across this great land, New Mexico, North Dakota, Illinois, Louisiana, have the U.S. flag at half staff. And then Pennsylvania, the state flag is at half staff. To find out information about the honorees and the date of these half staffs, click on the link below. All right. Today's historical moment from our flag recalls the end of an automobile first. On this date, May 26th in 1927, nearly 19 years after the first, after the first, the last Ford Model T rolled off the assembly line. So 19 years, nearly 19 years after the first one, the last Model T rolled off the assembly line at Ford Motor Company in Detroit, Michigan. Automobiles had been around since the 1880s, but they were almost exclusively owned by the wealthy. It wasn't until the Model T came along that the working man, the working middle class Americans, Men and women were able to afford an automobile, and boy, did they sell like crazy. $15 million in the span of 19 years. Dang, that's impressive. So how did Henry Ford do it? Well, he focused on creating an efficient and effective car production process by enabling an assembly line that could build inexpensive cars without sacrificing quality. And you can see it here in his ad, Ford, high-priced quality and a low-priced car. All right, and uh, appropriately, our inspirational quote from our flag is from the founder of Ford Motor Company himself, Henry Ford. It's a little pep talk, a little pick-me-up. When everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. (laughs) And and flying is still an amazing... um, an amazing thing when you think about the science behind it and yeah they got to fly into the wind to get that lift um so yeah when everything seems to be going against you remember the airplane takes off into the wind fighting the wind and it actually helps it just like perhaps whatever you're fighting you need to think of it in a positive way and perhaps it'll help you to overcome it all right that's a picture of the biggies they called it uss enterprise the most decorated world war ii warship an aircraft carrier. And now it's time to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Students across America at school or at home, inspired by the determination of automobile icon Henry Ford, who brought automobiles across our great land, let's unite and recite the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's it. That's our U.S. flag tribute for today. This is Sean Sweeney, a fellow flag steward, signing off by saying, go out and be a stud citizen. That means go out and be an awesome, good-to-each-other citizen. Yeah, help each other out. Be good to each other. Keep America beautiful. Because being helpful and kind and courteous to each other, working together, that's the only way we're going to keep moving this nation forward. And remember, in God we trust.